Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie and today I am going to Ikea. There are a couple of things that I've been wanting to get from there and I was trying to think like I should have put together an actual list for the whole center and not just the preschool room. So I'm going to try to figure out what I need for the rest of the center. Ikea is about an hour and a half drive away from my house, that's why. But next to Ikea is a Lakeshore Learning, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to head over there as well. And then I'm going to check out the Hobby Lobby in that area too. So I'm not sure if I'm even going to head up to the center today. I may on my way back just to drop off stuff depending on how much stuff I buy. Otherwise, I'm going to be there all day tomorrow setting up. I did go in yesterday when the phone company was there and I did some outlines on the walls. I am going to paint. <laughs> it's going to be a combination of painting and wallpaper and a whole bunch of nonsense going on there. That's it for right now. I will probably check back in with you tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Saturday around noon. So I just got to the center. Yesterday I did go to Ikea. I went to Lakeshore Learning. I went to Burlington Coat Factory. Hobby Lobby and a bunch of other stores. This morning I had to make a trip of course to Home Depot, my new home away from home, and went to Joanne Fabrics and then I made another trip to Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you what I picked up from all of those stores and kind of go through a game plan of what is in store for me today. Today I have my husband here. He is going to take down all of the shelves in the whole building that are still up. I believe he's going to shampoo the one toddler room and the one, the only infant room, the carpet in there. And then I think we're going to try to hang up all the fire extinguishers, even though they're just going to have to be taken down when we paint the rooms that they're in. But I want to get them up right now because I don't know if I told you guys, I got a hold of the fire marshal. They are going to be here on the 19th as well as the fire alarm company. Now, I was very excited to know that the fire alarm company, it's only $37 a month. So that's a good deal. And I don't think I have to pay anything for the fire department. They didn't say. <laughs> I'll bring my checkbook in case I do have to pay something. But other than that, I am going to show you the kind of like the outline of how the preschool room is going to look. I did draw it out and kind of just go over what the game plan is going to be for this upcoming week. I think it's going to be a very busy week here. I went to Home Depot this morning because I was going to paint the one wall red, but I don't think I'm going to go that route. I don't want any really bright colors like that in the preschool room, really kind of in any room. I'm definitely going for a more neutral look in my home daycare. I know it's very bright. I have a lot of primary colors, but in here I want it to be a little bit more calm, a little bit more natural looking. So I don't believe I'm going to go with a red wall. But let me show you what I'm going to do or what I'm thinking about doing. Here's what I've come up with for the preschool room. Now let me show you, and yes, Charlie Brown is back with me today, what I did. So this wall right here, I was thinking about doing like a um, schoolhouse. And originally I was like, oh, I'll paint it all red. I'll do the windows white, you know, make a little learn to play sign there, put a clock somewhere over here. But I don't think I want something that bright. I did order this brick paper off of Amazon. Originally I was going to do it for the um, diner area, but I think I may use this for the schoolhouse area. I don't know. I'm going to hang up a strip and we'll see how that looks. And then I did get this a long time ago, clearance. And I got a bunch of these from Joanne Fabric, these wall decals. I got to see how many. I think I have seven or eight boxes and there's 16 strips per box. So I might be able to do something with that as well. My thought was where all these little squares are, like quote unquote windows, that's where teachers could hang up like posters or do bulletin boards, maybe like right here where the quote unquote doors would be. That's where their calendar could be. So we'll see. And then I still haven't come up with anything for this back wall. I'm not sure because I'm going to put two computer desks there and then I'm going to put like I think I'm gonna put little shelves for books underneath the other ones. Over here in the housekeeping area, I put this brick wallpaper up or the peel and stick stuff from Amazon. I got two more rolls, that was one roll. And this is going to be, the back area is gonna be where the little kitchen is. You guys, <laughs> I went on that Kaplan Learning Company website. I didn't order the island that I was talking about, 
but I did order this like fireplace from that Sense of Play <laughs> collection and I'm gonna put it along right there. It is a kid's fireplace. By no means is it an adult fireplace. This is children decor for daycares. So it's a little fireplace that's gonna go right there. And then I have a gray couch. I have a plant I'm gonna put there. So I don't think I'm gonna use that shelf because I wanna be able to put like a baby crib and baby bed in that area. Look at this tape just falling down. <laughs> so again, with this area right here for the um, vet clinic, I was gonna do another cutout window. I did, when I went to Ikea yesterday, I bought two cube shelves to put, so I may not do that window. I wanna do the mock like um, little animal cages on the wall, so I'm not sure. I gotta see how big they are, I gotta put those together. Oh, and also I did get a carpet for that housekeeping area. I need to put together, the bookshelf did come. I wanna see how high that's gonna be because then I have um, the vet clinic and then I'm gonna show you these two chairs that I bought from Hobby Lobby this morning that would be like the waiting room chairs. Over here in the diner, again, nothing's really going on there. This grocery store area, I'm looking for yellow striped fabric, like almost like a valence, because I wanna do it across the one side that it would look like it's the front of the building. And then I did order three white shelves to use for the grocery aisles. And then I bought these two um, metal wire shelving things. I thought, man, if I could actually, if I could find something to go in that corner right there, that would be perfect. But I did buy these wire shelves for the pantry goods. We'll see if that works out. For the beauty and barber shop area, I did get a pink vanity. I have not found a chair yet that I like. And then I got some like chandelier decals from Amazon that I was gonna put on the walls. I need to order two shelving units for the block area and then I need to figure out how I'm going to divide this so that it's not totally open up to the gym. And last but not least, on this wall I did order hanging wall cubbies so they're not the floor length ones. I ordered two sets, I think those will come in on Wednesday from Amazon. I believe it would hold 16, either 16 or 20 hooks and like cubbies and stuff. And then I need to find a rug for this area right here. Rugs are very expensive, you guys. They're like three, four hundred dollars. I'm trying to like find something in like the two hundred and fifty dollar range because I think besides this housekeeping area, which I got the rug today for thirty dollars at Joanne Fabric, I don't think I'm using any other rugs besides. Oh, I did get like a cheap ten dollar IKEA one to put in this building block area. But, so I might, I don't know, if I could find something for $250 or under, that would be great. So my game plan for this weekend is to figure out what I'm doing on this wall. I think I may like that one lighter brick. I want it to look classic. Like I said, I felt like if I did it red, it would just be so in your face. And I don't think it would go along with the rest of the decor in the room. So I may use that light brick there. And then I was also thinking, let me see here. I was also thinking that what if I put a bunch of these as the windows? That way they could like just um, pin in their posters and stuff like that as opposed to like trying to tape something onto that wall and possibly ruining the wallpaper. So if I used those, I need to measure those out, buy all new ones of those, I would need four of them and use those as the window. Let me get started with that. My daughter's stopping by, my younger daughter. She's in town for the weekend. She's gonna stop by and check out the center with her stepmom and her stepmom's a teacher. She's a first grade teacher, I wanna say. So I'm gonna try to pick her brain for some ideas for this preschool room as well, because I believe she did teach kindergarten for several years. But other than that, oh, let me show you, let me just go ahead and show you everything that I bought yesterday and today. All right, starting with Hobby Lobby, I got this clock. I wanna say this clock was $10. It was part of their spring collection. And then I got two chalkboard pieces they were both two no this one was 249 
as you can see the shape of it. And then this one right here was $3.79. So I thought, you know what, that's a good deal. Then I got this tree, this fake tree to go in the housekeeping area for $17.49 as well. And then I got this little tree like holder, ceramic plant holder <laughs> for $10. I got these two chairs for $27.99 each. I'm going to put those in the waiting room in the little vet clinic. Then I got this really cute sign. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood by Mr. Rogers. I think I got that for $11. That was part of their spring collection at Hobby Lobby that was on sale too. And then I got two of these like backdrops. They were $1.49 each. And then you guys, I scored I think like 15 or 16 total of the different colors of the border for 99 cents. So this is always great to have on stock as well. From Home Depot, I picked up four of these lanterns. I'm gonna use, not as an actual light, I'm just not gonna put a light bulb in there. I'm gonna use that in my grocery store front area. And then I got another thing of Oops Paint, this like sea green color. I might do the inside of this office because look at, I mean, it has it in the carpet for $9. I thought that was a great deal. And then I got this really cute wicker elephant toy, I don't know, chest, a little toy box at Marshall's for $40. I'm going to use that in the infant room. I think I'm going to go with like animal um, theme in the infant room. So I figured we can put all like the plush toys in there. Here are our two storage baskets that I got from Home Depot. I'm going to try to use this as a produce holder for my little grocery store. And I believe these were $15 each. For my Kia, I did pick up two wall shelves. Down in my preschool room, I have white ones. They did not have any white ones. And the more I thought about it, I probably didn't want white because that room is like almond, the sink area. So I got two wood wall shelves that I'm going to put the children's diapers in. So then I had to get 12 baskets to go on that because each shelf has six compartments. And then I got two of the little, just like kids, little serving utensils. Those were $5 each. I got a little cash register from Ikea. I think that was 18. And I got this really cute little like pizza felt. I'm not a huge fan of like felt food and stuff like that, but I wanted it for the little pizza spatula, the oven spatula for the dramatic play area in the preschool. I believe that was $10. And then I got this little infant toy for $10. I want to say that clock was $10. And this rug is $10 as well. Yeah, I pick up another high chair. And then I got the two high chair um, trays to go with it since I was missing one. I picked up another changing pad and that was $16. And last but not least, from Burlington Coat Factory, they had this like tummy baby mat. I wanna say that was like $15, I got that. They had two of the best friend dolls. I picked up those because those were $13. I did get two headsets for the computers. I think those were $8 each. And then another book, I'm always looking for books and how much was this? $3.49. Okay, from Lakeshore Learning, I believe this one was on clearance, this Build, Explore, Play, and Dream poster. And then I got this Learning is Messy poster for my toddler art area. I thought that was really cute. I'll put it in a frame. They had the sign language poster. I got two, I think they only had two left. That's why I only bought two of the Washing Your Hands posters. And then for my grocery store, I got the vegetables and fruit poster. And then I got a thing of colors. I think I'll put that probably in my younger toddler room. Then I got those cute like library pockets with the library cards for in here to put on the library books so the children can practice writing their names. This has what, a 50 count? I'll probably, hmm, I wonder if I will laminate those or not. I don't know, we'll see. It says sturdy cardstock, so maybe not. And then I did laminate, I used their laminating machine, which I've never done before. <laughs> I use that at Lakeshore Learning just so that all of the posters are laminated and hopefully they'll last longer. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I've been working on this afternoon. Measured out some of the stuff, like the placement of the items that are going to be in the room. Like say, for instance, this beauty shop area, that is the size of the vanity. And then I just put a piece of blue tape on it, like how tall it is so that I know when I either go to paint or put wallpaper up, I'll know. The same thing with the grocery store. I did order three white cabinets, and then that is how high they are. And then I mapped out the two cash registers, um, wood 
I don't know, shelving units that I'm gonna put there. And then I put those two wired baskets. They're gonna go underneath those two posters. I ordered six, it was like a six pack of the 18 by 24 picture frame. So I'm gonna use one for the diner, those two right there for the grocery store. And then I'm gonna put two more over here. Um, actually I need to, no, you know what? <laughs> Scratch it, I'm not gonna do that one in the diner. I'll put those two. Oh no, I still have six. Never mind. I'm like losing my mind here. Okay, so I'm gonna have three picture frames there above the cabinets and then the three right here. And then over here in the diner area, again, I just mapped out where the shelving units are gonna go. I need to bring those little metal tins tomorrow so I know how many I could fit. I bought six. I don't know if six would fit. I think this is like a four foot by one and a half foot section I'm gonna do. And then I'm not sure what I will put like in that picture frame. I started putting the wallpaper on the walls. This is going to be the pet clinic. Again, I just mapped out that little shelf unit I have going right there. Put like the two chairs there. I need to bring that one little round table tomorrow as well. I had to order more of the brick that doesn't come in until Tuesday. I mapped out the couch. Here is that rug. That's where the fireplace is. And then the back area is the kitchen set. And then I'm gonna put like a table right there. I obviously don't have room for a little baby bed. I could put, I'm gonna probably put it like right here. I ordered four 18 by 24 cork boards. So like that one right there, but I ordered the ones that have the black um, trim since I am gonna do the black trim around the bottom. And then I ordered like a two foot by three foot cork board to go in the middle area that would represent the doors. And that's where I figured they would put like their calendar, the teacher would. And then I have a black clock to go on top. And then when my daughter and her stepmom were here today, I told you that she is a school teacher. I was telling her how I was gonna do like the two computer stations and how my husband needed to build the desk because I couldn't find anything that I liked. And then she suggested like, why not just do tablets with the children? She teaches first grade, she said in kindergarten and in first grade that all the children are using tablets, like they're not using laptops yet. My thought was, oh, they should be using laptops. I didn't even think about it. Like I don't teach four and five year olds. So I just assumed like kids with laptops, but she said, no, she's like, do tablets that way, you know, they can either like sit in the housekeeping area with them. They can sit at the table with them. The teacher could work with them on the tablets for circle time, she said that her students, since they were doing remote learning, they all just had tablets in first grade. So that makes a lot of sense and it makes my husband happy because now he doesn't have to build two more desks. So I think I am gonna keep both of these shelves in here then and then I'm gonna make that little area my library area. I'll put all the books you know, on those two shelves and I'll probably put the tablets inside those drawers and then try to come up with some kind of little like seating area. Maybe I'll get like, two little chairs or something to put right there. So I like that look. I don't know what to do with the rest of this back wall. So that brick will go over to the window because that's where the housekeeping area ends. I don't know, should I continue this all along the back wall? Should I do something different? Um, I don't know, I gotta think about that. So that's what's going on there. My husband got the infant room shampooed. And then let me show you in here, bless his heart. He was scrubbing the walls because <laughs> you know, this kitchen area is a total hot mess. He actually just like, he didn't do it that long. He just wanted to see if the cleaner that he bought would even work. And you guys, it looks really good. You probably can't tell on camera, but it is so much better than what it was. Okay. I think, like I said, that is it. He got all the shelving down from all of the rooms. He got this big bulletin board down. Here is that wall without the bulletin board. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I wonder if I should even put that back up. These rooms, I'm doing one color. Like I'm not, I'm only doing the storefronts and stuff for that pre-K room. It's kind of like the cream of the crop of the daycare. Um, I'm probably, actually I'm gonna do like a little fire station. I'm doing a couple things in the gym area, but for both toddler rooms and the infant room, I am doing just solid color walls, making it very clean looking, um, not busy. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna put that cork board back up there. It makes the room, I feel, look bigger without it. I don't know. I'll have to think about that as well. I'm sure I'll be back here tomorrow, even though it's Easter. <laughs> never a day off never 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 gonna wrap it up for today i will check back in with you tomorrow hi guys so today is tuesday i did not end up going to the daycare this past sunday or monday simply because i was waiting for things to arrive from amazon as you will recall i ran out of wallpaper on two of the sections so i had to order more of that and i need to show you my garage it is literally a hot mess i think between this week and early next week, I have like 40 packages arriving. And the reason why I'm not having them delivered at the daycare is because A, I live 30 minutes away from the daycare. And if I had to go every time Amazon mentioned that there was a delivery, I would be there nonstop. And B, I just feel like to have everything here at once, next week we're gonna run a U-Haul. My son-in-law and his father are gonna help us one day during the week. Just simply in one load, bring everything there. I'm probably just gonna house this stuff in the gym since it is going to be the last room that we are going to do. I did um, film some footage when I was there earlier. I had to take some measurements and stuff of a couple of the rooms and a couple of the areas that I need to order additional stuff for. So I'll insert that here. But before that, let me show you this garage. All right, here is what's going on. That's like several boxes that I took stuff out of that I brought today. And there's just so much stuff. I did get the baby mattresses arrived today. Um, and it's just, you guys, this is such a hot mess. Some of these boxes were heavy. That's the little animal clinic. I think what I'm waiting for today is the vanity is supposed to arrive and the couch. And then I might have one or two other things left for today. A couple of the things I had measured real quickly was I believe I'm going to take that shelf away and put that in the bathroom after all just to keep the one shelf because I ordered two great chairs because I want this area it's 44 inches wide to put um, a shelf for the teacher to have all like the art supplies play-doh paper pens crayons all of that so I am going to get a big shelf to go along that wall right there so I measured that and then I wanted to measure this area right here this is six foot wide and I figured probably four foot high I had looked on Amazon yesterday for like lockers and actual tall standing cubbies. It's expensive. Either way, it's like five, 600 bucks just to like fill in this spot right here. This drives me nuts. I thought maybe the lockers would look cool, especially since this other side of the wall is going to be the basketball area. So I figured if I put red lockers right here, that would kind of go along with it since the rims of the basketball are red. I need to figure out some kind of like, when I look at basketball courts online, they all have like that mat that goes across. So I need to measure that right there and figure out how to get red mats to put alongside there. And then the other thing I wanna measure is I wanna measure how wide this infant room is because I need to start thinking about a gate for the infant room because I believe you do have to, for state regulations, I believe you have to have the, like an area separating between the cribs and the play area. And since I'm gonna put the cribs all the way in the back, I figure if I just got one long gate to go across or like something that like maybe opens up in the middle. And then I was also trying to figure out if I was gonna put a gate here. I don't think I'm gonna like try to move this carpet into the other room because I'm afraid of what may be under here. And I'm afraid that it would just open up another can of worms. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but I probably will put a gate across here as well. So when the children are playing. So those are a couple of things that I need to look on Amazon for. Hi everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I did end up coming into the center today. We had a couple of adjustments with the kids at the home daycare. So I will be here for a good chunk of the day instead of coming tonight. I want to show you, I got those poster um, picture frames that I had ordered. And I also got like the cork boards, but I'm missing three of the picture frames. Let me turn this camera on and show you. So it said it was a six pack, but I only got three of those. So I got to figure out if I still have a box at home that I'm missing. But I did get the um, 
smaller cork boards and then I got the larger one that I'm going to put on the wall. So right now my game plan is to finish this wall and then I'm going to finish up into that window and then decide if I'm going to go all the way down. And yeah, so that's our game plan for right now. enough to finish that corner so I have this much left I'm hoping that if I cut it in half it'll be enough to go all the way down the only other thing I can do is take out some pieces that are going to have that cork board like the section in the middle and reuse those pieces so let's <laughs> let's hope that this works out somehow just a quick update I did finish that brick along there I really like how it looks and then I had this going across that window. Then I realized that the pizza shop actually starts at the corner of that window. So I took off that. Still not sure what I'm going to do for that. But I believe I'm going to use that same brown fake shiplap um, wallpaper on this side of the grocery store. Because even though the grocery store goes from here to here, this I'm going to decorate as like the inside of the grocery store. And then I did get the yellow and white striped balance. I ordered it off of Amazon. So the picture that I saw um, had like white, almost like shiplap, you know, um, backing on that. Then they have the yellow and white striped balance. I'm going to put those lights above it. I'll have like a market sign. And then I still need to figure out this area with the beauty and barber shop. I wonder if I could find more, almost like a gray, um, wallpaper to put on there and then again I'm still not sure what is going on there but I did finish this whole wall and then I did lay out how the cork boards are going to be placed hi guys it is Saturday morning and I am back at the shop my husband is here we got the wood for the tables he's going to be working on that today I did get the rest of all of the wallpaper in so I'm going to be hanging up the rest of that and I brought a couple of the shelves to put together just so I can kind of have an idea of um, placement and size wise. And then I'm going to show you, I bought this old TV stand. I think I'm going to use it in my diner area. It's perfect. It was only $15. I think it'll work as a buffet station. That's one less thing to build. So first things first, I'm going to start hanging the rest of the wallpaper and then I'll check back with you. I am going to give you a quick overview of what's going on and then I'm going to end this video. It is, I think, like four or five o'clock on Saturday. I'm going to show you some of the progress that I made. Um, I ran out of <laughs> that wallpaper again. So I have to order more wallpaper to finish the other part of the grocery store and that won't be in until Monday. I am going to be here all day tomorrow, but that'll be on next week's video. I'm really excited because my daughter is coming into town on Monday as well for a week. So we should be able to make really good progress. She is a pro at the Cricut machine. So there's a bunch of stuff that I need her to bake. So let me just give you a quick overview of what's happening here. So I did get one of those shelves put together. There's actually going to be three. I just wanted to see like height wise. That's going to be like the little grocery store aisles. And then I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was like part of their spring collection. I thought that was really cute to put like different vegetables and stuff in there. So I started with this side of the grocery store and actually I'm glad that I did because I'm gonna make this like the outside of the grocery store. I simply like, you guys, I have to go and buy a balance. So don't even think that's how it's staying. I just wanted to see our balance rod. I just wanted to see what it would look like and then if I'm going to keep this like border trim around the door or not I'm not sure but I did um, outline the fruits and the vegetable pictures with yellow um, border as well and then I hung up those lights from Home Depot and I'm like gosh they're so plain just like that so I put part of that yellow border I wrapped it around to make it look like a light bulb <laughs> so 
like there's nothing electrical hanging in the walls with this. I simply took out all the electrical things that would go into the wall and just um, screwed them into the wall. So I think I'm gonna go across and do all of those with that yellow border. I thought that turned out really cute. And then I bought this sign. I wish this was in black because I think the black lettering at Hobby Lobby is more like a cursive. So I think I'm gonna paint that black and then put it above the door or something. Because down below here, this is where they're gonna have their like grocery carts. So I have like a cart parking sign here. So I don't wanna put it down there. So I'll figure that out. And then I finished the wallpaper for the diner. I got that food sign, those letters from Hobby Lobby. And then that black um, paper below it is actually chalkboard paper. So I'm going to write like menu and stuff like that. I'm going to do, I think, some kind of border on it just because it looks so plain. Maybe I'll do like a gray border on it as well. And then I hung up the one clock. I need to get a battery for it. But I figured since I did this quote unquote window door with a valance that I'm going to go along all the way down and do those. So I'm going to get a black valance for here. And then I got this put together. This is the animal clinic. I bought that, I think from, I think I got both of those from Ashley's Furniture. Maybe, I'm not sure about that coat rack. That may have been from like Amazon, but I'm going to have all like the little doctor coats hanging up on that. So I put together one of these Ikea cubes and it's pretty bulky because my thought was that I would hang it up above here. I don't think I'm going to go that route now. Maybe I'm just going to like hang up pictures of animals on there and then maybe do some kind of like divider here and then have like little animals in there almost like it's like where the animals like their little cages at the vet so we'll see about that and then I'm going to look for some kind of like little animal valence to put there and then I didn't do anything over here I'm going to get like a brick red valence I believe to go on there and that's it. Oh, I want to show you one other thing. I did get these jumbo LTP letters that I'm going to put above this bulletin board in the middle of the wall. So I'm going to hang those up. And the last thing I want to show you is the progress on the table here. So these two tables, <laughs> there's two of these tables. These were actually in the maintenance room. So that is the height that the table is going to be. And I didn't even know those were in here. Those would be great for like parties or something like that. But my husband is building me the barn table. So this is all, I guess, drying right now. So this will probably be dried by tomorrow. We'll sand it and then stain it. He did order like metal legs off of Amazon. I think they're coming sometime this week. So that is one table, it's seven foot by three foot. That table is like six foot by two and a half feet. So even though this is a little bit wider and longer, I like that because then the children have more room on the table. And then there's the cutout for the second table that he has to do. At Home Depot, they do like, they'll cut, I don't know, the wood pieces down to size. So I have an extra one foot section, like a one by eight foot section or one by seven foot section, or. I have two of those, so I think I'm going to cut those in half and then use those for part of my um, diner area as well. But overall, this is what it's looking like. I think it's going to look so cute. I'm so excited for all the boxes of furniture to arrive here on Tuesday, and then I can start assembling because I feel like then it'll really start to come to life. I probably, I still have like another week or two in this room. I haven't figured out the carpet situation yet, so I need to figure out that. And then I need to figure out the bookcases to go here for the block area. And then again, how I'm going to divide this. That wraps up this video. I don't even know how long it's going to be once I condense it down. And I hope that it's not too long. But I want to take you guys along the journey just to show you um how everything is coming together i love these kind of videos so if you do too please give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so and i'll catch you in my next video